Okay. So in this class, we're going to move to a very small topic that uh, that's very important as well, and that is pollutants. Okay, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about pollutants. Uh, now, now pollutants are your everyday pollutants that you experience. Some of the common ones. Uh, there's a list, and you must know what those pollutants do. Uh, the first one, let's start with the first one. Okay, there is uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, it's just a list, and you just have to memorize. Uh, ye air and water says Katalo. Okay, this chapter is air and water, and you just have to memorize what uh, these pollutants do. First one is carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide is there's nothing wrong with carbon dioxide itself. But if carbon dioxide quantity increases, the concentration increases. It's a greenhouse gas. So yeah, it's a greenhouse gas. What's a greenhouse gas? Uh, that it causes global warming, but it absorbs too much heat from the sun, and it warms up the planet. So why would it? Why is it dangerous? Why is it? Why is global warming dangerous? The reason why global warming is dangerous is that okay, global warming leads to a melting of glaciers. And your polar ice sheets, now because of that, what's going to happen is uh, water levels are going to rise. So there's going to be rising sea levels, uh, coastal communities are going to, uh, they're going to drown or they, they're going to be inundated with water. And the other thing is that uh, the higher temperature leads to unpredictable weather, weather patterns, more cyclones, hurricanes, etc. So you have more unpredictable unpredictable weather patterns. Achha, or then this is it's a greenhouse gas, global warming, uh, sab iske mein. Um, how is carbon dioxide produced? Okay, that's an issue. <coughs> now, one thing is that we produce carbon dioxide. Uh, animals respire. And that produces carbon dioxide. An equation for that could be this C6H12O6. It reacts with oxygen and it produces uh, CO2 and water molecules. I said, but that's not that big of an issue. Although the amount of humans on the planet is also increasing, so there's more carbon dioxide being produced. Uh, the other main source is combustion of hydrocarbon fuels. Of fossil fuels. Remember, it took the planet billions of years to bury this uh, this heap of carbon. Which I mean, we are carbon. We are made out of carbon. So all the dead matter got got buried deep inside the Earth's crust, uh, and it turned into oil due to the high pressure. Now we are taking all of it out and we are burning it. So when you burn a burn a fossil fuel, uh, it's usually a product of carbon and hydrogen. Most of the time, it's a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon ka matlab hi ke, uh, it will have carbon and hydrogen, and it would react and produce uh, carbon dioxide and and water molecules. So whenever combustion happens, combustion of fossil fuels, but not only not only those combustion of fossil fuels, where where are they taking place? Your cars, TK, they are pollutants. Airplanes, they're burning this. TK, airplanes are actually a significant source of carbon dioxide. They produce a lot of carbon dioxide. Here, you have thermal power plants, furnaces, etc. Your main energy source is basically fossil fuels. The whole planet runs on fossil fuels but now we are basically shifting towards solar and alternatives the alternatives are 
केक तो सोलर है दैट्स अ वेरी गुड एंड प्रॉमिसिंग ऑल्टरनेटिव टेन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स अगो पीपल नेवर रिली थॉट दैट सोलर वुड टेक ऑफ बट नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ होम्स एंड स्पेशली रूरल रूरल एरियाज के अंदर ना uh where the electricity power supply is usually not very uh adequate and it's uh, it breaks down a lot uh wahan pe na people have almost entirely switched to solar theek hai khaas taur pakistan mein if you go to a village uh, pretty much the whole village would, would be running on solar because the the government power supply is very uh unpredictable so solar is one fair wind that's an alternative ठीक है कार्स में आ गए इलेक्ट्रिक कार्स ऑल दो दे नॉट वेरी कॉमन नाउ बट दे आर बिकमिंग दे आर एक्चुअली बिकमिंग पॉपुलर नाउ बट स्टिल नॉट वेरी कॉमन यू डोंट सी अ लॉट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक कार्स बट नाउ यू सी मोर एंड मोर हाइब्रिड कार्स व्हिच काइंड ऑफ रन ऑन बोथ थिंग्स ऐसा सो सो देयर लॉट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल नाउ एंड पीपल आर एंड दोस ऑप्शंस आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस लेस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड ठीक है चलो सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड उस पे हम बाद में उस पे हम आते हैं थोड़ी बात पहले तो इसी से कार्बन से रिलेटेड देयर इज अनदर पोल्यूटेंट व्हिच इज कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड ठीक है दैट्स मोनो ठीक है दैट्स अ पोल्यूटेंट एज़ वेल अच्छा इट्स नॉट अ पोल्यूटेंट एक्चुअली मास स्केल के ऊपर नो वन इज प्रोड्यूसिंग कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड अ मास स्केल में भी प्रोड्यूस हो सकता है कि इनकंप्लीट कंबशन ठीक है सो व्हेनेवर यू हैव इनकंप्लीट कंबशन दैट प्रोड्यूसेस produces carbon monoxide uh for example there's a hydrocarbon and it burns and there's not sufficient supply of oxygen so it might result in the formation of carbon monoxide and water molecules anyways that's incomplete combustion uh specifically which is why you are told frequently not to uh turn on your heaters at night and sleep with them on theek hai because when you when you're burning something even the stove on your in your kitchen that would be to to a very tiny extent uh there would be some carbon monoxide that would be produced uh so isliye you you need to have your kitchens and your you, you don't need to turn on your heaters for the, the whole night because carbon monoxide is a very very poisonous gas theek hai it's an extremely poisonous gas uh you should not sleep in your car theek hai with with the, if the car is turned on क्योंकि इफ द कार इज टर्न ऑन द कार इज कॉन्स्टेंटली बर्निंग एंड इट्स उसका जो एग्जॉस्ट है इट्स प्रोड्यूसिंग कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड टू अ वेरी टाइनी एक्सटेंट तो वो दैट कुड गेट इन टू द कार तो स्पेशली इफ यू हैव योर एसीज ऑन तो एसी बाहर की हवा जो है ना वो सर्कुलेट कर रहा होता है कार के अंदर सो इफ योर इफ योर एग्जॉस्ट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड एंड योर इंजन इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली तो अ लॉट ऑफ कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड इज गोइंग टू गेट फिल्ड इन योर कार So these are some things that should be avoided because carbon monoxide is very poisonous, and it's and it frequently causes deaths. Most of the deaths in fires, etc., they're caused by carbon monoxide poisoning, uh, and it's a very slow killer as well. I mean, it's it's people don't people when they start getting poison when they are getting poisoned by carbon monoxide, they don't even realize that they are getting poisoned by carbon monoxide. तो वो जब तक उन्हें पता लगता है तब तक आई थिंक दे आर ऑल दे आर ऑलमोस्ट अनकॉन्शियस सो बिकॉज़ द होल प्रोसेस इज वेरी स्लो सो दैट इज व्हाई इट्स इवन मोर इट्स इवन डेडलीयर कोई और गैस हो ना वो आपको स्मेल भी आ जाती है कुछ ना कुछ पता लग जाता है कि कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड इज कंप्लीटली टेस्टलेस इट्स कंप्लीटली कलरलेस इफ यू इफ यू स्मेल कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड यू वोंट फील इनिशियली यू वोंट फील एनीथिंग वो एक पॉइंट के बाद है योर बॉडी अब्जॉर्ब्स सो मच कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड दैट यू बिकम अनकॉन्शियस तो इसलिए इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू इवन नोटिस कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड पॉइजनिंग नाउ कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड इज व्हाट डज इट डू कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड कंबाइंस विद हीमोग्लोबिन इररिवर्सिबली नाउ हीमोग्लोबिन हैड अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक पर्पस दैट इट वाज आरबीसीज होते द रेड ब्लड सेल्स दे कैरी ऑक्सीजन यूजिंग हीमोग्लोबिन तो आपका पूरा बॉडी का जो ऑक्सीजन का ट्रांसपोर्ट मैकेनिज्म है ना दैट्स गोइंग टू शट डाउन बिकॉज़ कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड कंबाइंस विद हीमोग्लोबिन इररिवर्सिबली सो कॉजेस चोकिंग प्रॉब्लम 
causes choking or breathing problems. Even a slight poisoning would result in that. Okay, your body would, would be short of oxygen. <coughs> then number three. Here that's carbon monoxide. Number three is... I said we move to methane, CH4. Now methane is again another greenhouse gas. As a methane is your is is another greenhouse gas. Uh, methane can there be methane uh, is frequently used. It's it's used in domestic heating and cooking. Most of the gas that you get in your in your houses, uh, that that your stove runs on, your heaters run on, so they're frequently used in domestic heating. Okay, for your for cooking, etc. As the thing with methane is methane is produced naturally as well. Uh, greenhouse gas ke to further explain nahi kara. As a methane is naturally produced when uh, dead vegetable matter decays. Okay, that's. <coughs> <coughs> That's when uh, methane is produced. Another huge source of methane gas is this uh, biogas. We get it's uh, it's cows. Okay, cow dung etc. It decomposes and produces a lot of methane gas. That's how biogas is produced, and it's combustible. So villages can you must have seen videos where where biogas is being is being produced, and stoves are run on it. Now now the thing with methane is. Uh, so these are main factors, and it's a greenhouse gas. Okay, that's pretty much it about methane. Uh, number four. Okay, number four is, uh, let's talk about uh, SO2. Ki baat kar lete hain ab. SO2 and NO2, okay, which we have talked about earlier as well. Now, these two gases are your acid, they cause acid rain. So, in kind of a device, kar lein ke, uh, source of SO2, where do you get SO2 in the first place? Now, now where do you get SO2? Uh, so, source of SO2. Uh, the place where you're going to get SO2 is, uh, is volcanic activity. That, that is the number one source. It produces and also combustion of fossil fuels, especially unrefined fossil fuels like coal. Coal has a lot of sulfur in it. So the sulfur would burn and produce sulfur dioxide. Okay, volcanoes can be there's a lot of sulfur. So that's the source of SO2, and the source of NO2 is. You get NO2 from um, one is lightning strikes. And the other one is your car engines. You get the two sources. So how do you get them from lightning strikes or car engines? It's the same reason because air has nitrogen and it has oxygen. So usually nitrogen doesn't react. Because this N triple bond N is very strong. And it doesn't react. <coughs> so most of the time it doesn't react. But at high temperatures they react. At very high temperatures. They react. Okay, wo N triple bond N na toot jata hai high temperature mein because molecule collisions are happening very, very fast. 
and vigorously so the bond breaks and you have n2 reacting with o2 and it ends up producing nitrogen oxides like no2 okay so these are the two sources of these two gases phir dono gases ka kya hota hai ki they end up reacting with each other so2 ends up reacting with no2 and they produce so3 and nitrogen monoxide or phir wo jo uh, nitrogen monoxide hai, it gets oxidized in air back again तो NO2 acts as an oxidizing agent. मतलब ऑक्साइज करता है ऑक्साइज करने का मतलब है कि वो ऑक्सीजन ऐड करवाता है द एसओ टू एंड ऑफ गेटिंग ऑक्सीजन एंड एंड ऑफ फॉर्मिंग एसओ थ्री ठीक है तो लास्ट स्टेप होता है कि हाउ इज एसिड रेन फॉर्म नाउ एसिड रेन इज फॉर्म वेन दीज गैसेज दे मिक्स विद वॉटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एसओ थ्री mixes with water and ends up producing a uh, sulfuric acid which is h2so4 uh similarly uh, no2 gas would also react with water to produce two gases one is nitric acid the other one is the other one is nitrous acid theek hai the other one is nitrous acid so these gases are produced and acid rain is produced a uh, problem is associated with acid rain what are the issues of acid rain now one huge issue of acid rain is that it uh, it corrodes buildings and which buildings limestone and metal so limestone and metal buildings are going to be uh, corrodes corrodes buildings so your limestone and metal buildings are going to corrode because they react with acids okay that's number one for human health ke upar to cause skin and eye irritation Pin number three is uh, I said number three is causes skin and eye irritation, and then you have uh, water bodies and soil becomes acidic. And we have done this in detail. We have done the acid rain part. डिटेल में किया हुआ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड के जी सॉयल एंड वाटर बॉडीज दे बिकम एसिडिक तो उसका क्योर क्या होता है कि लाइम एंड लाइमस्टोन आर एडेड टू न्यूट्रलाइज एसिडिक सॉइल्स सो लाइमस्टोन लाइम आर एडेड टू न्यूट्रलाइज एसिडिक सॉइल्स so these are the problems that are associated with acid rain uh phir aur kya pollutants hain there's a there's a pollutant which is uh, lead ke oxide kar lete hain that's that's number that's number ye kaun sa number tha bhi this was number 3 i think as a number 4 uh remember lead oxides as a this causes mental retardation so what that basically means is ke uh, as a lead oxide was uh, it used to be added in used to be added a time tha it used to be added in fuels to prevent knocking ठीक है कार जो होती है ना दे दे वुड नॉक नॉक का मतलब है द इंजन वुड सॉर्ट ऑफ अन इवन वो उसकी कंबशन हो रही होती थी सो दे वुड ऐड लेड ऑक्साइड टू इट टू द फ्यूल्स सो दैट व्हेन द फ्यूल बर्न्स इट बर्न्स इवनली 
and when it burns evenly so engine jo hai na it 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 runs very very smoothly but then they started noticing something and that is ki a lot of people they started becoming normal normal people they had started developing psychological issues hallucinations etc and then they linked mental retardation with lead oxide so perfectly normal so in the 1920s they used to add a lot of lead in the fuse so that that was one very major polluted uh balki roman empire's ka fall jo hai na that's attributed to lead kyunki romans at one point they discovered lead ki they could lead is a metal so they discovered they could make lead pipes to unhone na apna jitna bhi wo pani ka jo flow ka system hai na they they made they made this uh their water supply through they made the cities and they uh, all the water supply happened using lead pipes or phir wo unka pani ke andar lead aa raha tha and they started becoming they had a lot of mental disease after that as a number 4 number 5 number 5 is uh, there's a thing called uh, cfcs now what are cfcs theek hai this is something that we going to study mai pehle bata deta hu it's a it's a, because you just have to memorize this so it's chlorofluorocarbons so it's basically a compound that is made, made up of uh, carbon and fluorines and chlorines theek hai make any random molecule remember carbon makes four bonds uh so this this over here that i've drawn is a cfc now cfcs are very useful uh compounds reason they they useful is pehle to inki uses extremely useful first <coughs> first thing they are inert solvents balki they inert and they are volatile inert means uh, that i say inert means okay, they're not going to react with anything ab solvents planet earth ke upar the number one solvent is water but water is a very bad solvent reason it's a bad solvent is ki wo aadhi cheezon ke sath react kar jata hai ki matlab iron ka piece hai usko agar pani mein daloge to the iron would rust theek hai similarly for example uh, so it's a it's a very bad solvent even aap apna haath agar rakh do na kafi der tak pani ke andar your skin starts to actually peel off so <coughs> so it's a very bad solvent what is a bad solvent because wo khud ek active participant hota hai aur har cheez ke sath na react karna shuru kar deta hai so a lot of times you want inert solvents so cfcs are pretty inert these molecules are very inert so they used as solvents a lot of times uh they volatile so they are also used as refrigerants most of your coolants etc pair your deodorants and your air fresheners uh they are also cfcs uh so very good compounds with medicinal uses we bought other theek hai a lot of medicines uske mein water is not used as a solvent a cfc is used as a solvent anyways cfcs are very good and very useful the only harmful effect is <coughs> and it's a it's a very harmful effect and that is ke cfcs in the upper atmosphere they destroy ozone lower atmosphere pe no issues theek hai they don't have any issues but when you take a cfc to an upper atmosphere the first thing what happens is i'm going to explain what the what the steps are upper atmosphere is ye jo upper stratosphere hai above the clouds wahan pe sunlight bahut strong hoti hai so when a cfc reaches that it's a gas so by any chance it might reach there so so this is carbon fluorine and chlorine so when a cfc reaches that 
height and it meets this uh, this very high UV rays, high intensity UV rays. Okay, remember upper atmosphere there is nothing protecting the molecule. Sunlight na direct party. So the UV rays hit this molecule and this molecule ends up breaking down. Or specifically the chlorines they kind of break down. So the chlorine ka jo atom hai na, wo kind of it kind of breaks down. Now this chlorine atom would go and start attacking ozone, which is O3. And it starts attacking ozone. And it starts to react with ozone. So CLO ban jata hai, phir wo, um, O2 ke saath react kar jata hai. Acha, phir wo CLO, it again goes and reacts with O3. And this ends up forming Cl plus O2 molecules. Okay, anyways, what, what, what is basically happening in this reaction is that um, your ozone is breaking down into O2. <coughs> and if I write the summary of this reaction, it's basically O3 molecules are changing into O2 molecules because of these chlorine atoms that are formed. Okay, CFCs destroy ozone. Like, the CFC must reach the upper atmosphere and it will probably reach the upper atmosphere because it's a, it's a volatile substance. It's going to be in gaseous state. Okay, is this clear? Mahad, is this clear? Is it? Iram? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. CFCs destroy ozone. What was the purpose of ozone? Upper atmosphere. Mein? Uh, hmm? Yeah, I couldn't hear you. Uh, okay, so I don't know what the number is. Uh, it's number five. Number six. So let's said, we'll discuss kar le, ozone nahi hogi, kya hoga? We'll discuss kar le, the number six. CFCs got the harmful effect they clear ke... <coughs> it destroys ozone. So O3 is ozone. I said now, surprisingly, ozone is actually a very harmful compound, lower atmosphere. Mein. Uh, most of the smog that you see. Especially cities, can you know, you see that haze. Sometimes when a city is very polluted and it's not been raining for a few days, there's a lot of hazy uh, atmosphere, especially in big cities. So smog is mostly ozone. Where do you get this ozone? You can large cities, uh, cars, they produce NO2. What cars, what do they do? Uh, they heat up the air and the nitrogen and oxygen, they react and they produce NO2. Okay, so cars NO2 banana NO2 kya tha? It was an oxidizing agent. To smog ka thoda explain karo ke what is smog? Smog hai ke jahan pe gaadiya bahut zyada hongi na, wahan pe there's going to be a lot of NO2. Air heat up kari hogi constantly. <coughs> And uh, if it's heating up, NO2 is being formed, which is an oxidizing agent. And this NO2 ends up reacting with, because it's an oxidizing agent, its tendency is that it gives oxygen to everyone. So if it's a normal molecule, if NO2 will react with it, it will oxygen to it. Would form into, it will turn into O3, and NO would get reduced. It would lose its oxygen. So this, at lower atmosphere, This is the reason why you see that haze in the lower atmosphere. Basically, ozone has been produced. And ozone is kind of like a smog. It's like a foggy thing. Theke? So lower atmosphere and causes it. It's a very harmful effect because it causes breathing problems. Ye aapki hemoglobin ke saath na, it attaches irreversibly. So it causes breathing problems. Um, so not good in the lower atmosphere. 
ozone. But in the upper atmosphere, it has a very, very good use. Very important because the hazy atmosphere, the upper atmosphere, if it will form clouds, the sunlight won't be able to enter the Earth's crust and it's going to get deflected. So it keeps the planet uh, protected from harmful rays. So very useful in upper atmosphere. And protects us from harmful UV rays. which cause skin cancer. Okay. <coughs> so it causes skin cancer. And uh, though skin cancer is probably one of the most uh, damaging effect. Of, and obviously, uh, normal... Uh, life cuper vegetation cuper it's, it's, it has a very harmful effect strong uv rays they destroy the vegetation they destroy um, they're harmful for the animals as well so ozone is very very useful so any questions about this is this clear to everyone it, it's are uh, harmful effects about these pollutants is this clear am i clear saad anna Yes. Yes. Sir, just give me one second. Ek, uh, the last 10 minutes, I will send a question to me. Okay, I didn't say it. Just one second. I said, did I send you the worksheet for moles? Yes. Or the first 10 questions, I said, uh, sent those, okay? Uh, just give me one second. Was it the first 10? Because I sent the last 10. Yeah, I think it was the first 10. So, you may, one second, with... <coughs> इसको मैं क्लास में दे रहा हूँ। uh, first ten जो क्वेश्चन है, ठीक है? Remember the most worksheet is on the Mar. Do you have the most worksheet? I do, sir. ठीक है, I'm sending you. I'm sending you guys the link as well. Okay, this Google Classroom ka link. Let's upload it. Okay, most worksheet first and pages. Answer. Make sure you uh, the images are very clear. This I will also send that invitation code. Jo iska. Sir, the first ten pages or the first ten questions. Uh, the first 10 pages. Take a try and take a message to Kadi. You should be able to join this class. So you can start working on the first 10 pages. Take a I say, I'm going question me what we did right now. Is this clear? Clear, Baki, Baki, <coughs> is this clear? I know. Yes. Sir, how, how the questions will be asked from this topic? I said, is Q for Yaki? कुछ ज़्यादा नहीं होगा बस straight forward ही होगा although अभी topic complete तो नहीं हुआ थोड़ा सा बीच में add भी कर लेते हैं कि 
Altså, 